Hey everybody, it's Rich from PredatorStuff.com with this week's edition of Guess What's in the Box. Now, you can see it's from Sideshow, so there's no surprise there. So let's whip this around and see what we're going to be looking at. Aha! Uh -huh. It is the <clears throat> brand new uh, Dutch premium format figure which I just got, I actually got this a, a couple of weeks ago um, and I'm going to open it up and let's take a look and see how well this one is done or not. Hold on. Okay, well, uh, this is the internal box that actually holds the, uh, the figure and I notice that the uh, Sideshow is becoming a little bit more artsy-fartsy in, uh, in their boxes, which I think is a good thing. Uh, if you're going to keep things as collectibles and you don't want to take them out of the box, you want to have at least a nice box to look at. So on this side we have uh, Predator Dutch Schaefer Premium Format. When we revolve it around, and we've got a uh, basically a full shot of uh, what the statue is going to look like. Uh, Arnie looking very determined there. I shouldn't call him Arnie in this, I should call him uh, Dutch. And if you go back over to this side, you have a, uh, a nice close-up, bulging muscles and all. So, if you're wondering how this is going to translate into something real, as in what's this going to look like, let's not mess around, let's go take a look at it right now. Well, and here we go. Um, very, very nice. I like the pose, first of all. Um, already kind of moving through the uh, the jungle, carrying his mammoth uh, rifle. Uh, if you look, let me focus in a little bit here. Uh, very nice determined look on his face. He's got a little uh, growth of beard and he's chomping on a cigar. By the way, those of you who don't like those kinds of things and have problems with people who smoke and whatever, you get the second head. This is a little creepy, but you get the second head, which does not have a cigar in it. Me, I'm going for the cigar. I like the look. <clears throat> anyway, um, great bulging biceps. And uh, this rifle, I'm going to come back to that in a minute, but the rifle is just amazing and it comes in two parts. You go down, he's got a beautiful bowie knife uh, in a sheath that straps from his waist and then ties onto his leg as well. And then if you go down even further, very nice base. I have to pull out a little bit for this. Very nice base. Um, kind of a jungle motif and standing on some sort of looks like electronic device. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's all about. I'll have to study that a little bit more. Anyway, here is, uh, let's take another look at the gun because it's just amazing. Turn around here without knocking them over. And there we go. Um, pretty nicely done. And what's neat about this is the bottom half, when you're looking now, is attached to his left hand and the upper half of the gun is attached to his right hand and the right hand is gloved. And something I did want to show you on this, this is something that I think is really good from uh, Sideshow. I'll show you on the optional head. Down at the bottom, magnet. So when you put this into the slot uh, <clears throat> on Dutch, there's another magnet there holding it together. So you get a nice firm um, joining of the two pieces together uh, without any uh, wobble or movement. And if you go around a little bit further here, a couple more weapons. Uh, very nice pistol, which is in the, in the uh, sheath also. And if you shoot down another Jagunda Bowie knife uh, sitting up against his leg. This one you have to assemble. Uh, this one comes without, let's see if I can take it out here. You know, I'm not going to bother with it, but it comes out, um, <clears throat> but you have to attach it to the leg. 
a couple of optional plants down the bottom. Uh, those are plug-ins as well. So we circle back around. I think this is uh, nicely done. I like the paint job. I like the detail. Uh, if you look, you can see the uh, veins in his arms bulging out. Uh, little, at the risk of pissing off everyone, a little steroid bounce there. Um, and a nicely detailed face. If you Let me see if I can get up and close to this. What I was particularly impressed with was the eyes. And I don't know if I can get up close enough to see that, see them or not. Uh, not really, but a nice, a nice look, very nice look. Uh, so overall, I would say well worth it. I think this one is 350 as well. Um, <clears throat> it is available now, and I believe there are. The last time I checked, which was yesterday, there are still uh, some available. Uh, the exclusive format. The one you're looking at right now with the two heads is weight listed. Um, but the one that has the single head, and I'm not sure if that's a cigar or not cigar. I think that's non-cigar. Um, if so, if you don't care about that, um, you can uh, probably get it, you know, shipped to you next week. In time for your holiday decorations. So, <clears throat> I'm told recommendation from PredatorStuff.com. Very nice. If um, you've got the dough and you're a big Arnie fan, a big Dutch fan, I would say go for it. Um, very nicely done. One last thing. This will be the last what's in the box that we're going to do for a while. Uh, I've gotten requests from folks to look at kits. So I've got a couple of Naren kits that I want to go over and show you, uh, and that'll be the next one. Uh, we're going to look at Naren's newest, uh, and I think unbelievably his best, um, which is the Spirit Blade. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, I've got a build-up that Joe Dunaway did that I'll show you pictures of. Um, going to be fun. Anyway, once again, Rich from PredatorStuff.com, and I will remind you once again, if you do decide to go ahead and get this Dutch Schaefer figure from Sideshow, please, please go through the Predator Stuff website. I've told you this before. I'll tell it to you again. It will not cost you any more, but it allows us to get a few pennies to uh, we put towards the operation of the website which is not cheap and not free. Anyway, you go to www.predatorstuff.com. It's appearing below right there. You can see it. And uh, any questions, shoot me an email. There's my email address, rich at predatorstuff.com. Anyway, thanks for listening, folks, and we will see you again next week.